Welcome back to my channel. I am Audrey Lynn Seralda Tomdere Gnosis. Gnosis for those who do not speak my tongue or language. It is not a coincidence that the Gnostic belief is associated with Gnosis. And also my last, last name, Gnosis, has two syllables, no and says. No, which is an anagram for Anu. And says, in ancient times, there were no vowels. So it is two letters, SS, that stands for Isis. So Gnosis is a combination or oneness of Anu and Isis. Today's video is about the saviors of the world, the true saviors of the world or true saviors that have been sent through our different lifetimes to awaken the masses, the sheep, the ignorant ones. There are so many confusions going on right now because we are in end times. We know there are two different forces at play in this world on, and on earth right now. The good and evil, as defined by the Bible. Then the negative and the positive for those in the conscious communities. Because we are living in a realm of duality. Now because of these end time activities that are happening, because we know the planetary criminals, the lawless ones, the imposter rulers, and all their allies, they know that we are, or they have reached their time to leave this earth because they have not heed our warnings and instructions to correct their wrongs and to leave this planet. Now, lifetime in and lifetime out, the divine has sent different uh, divine beings to earth through our different cultures. We have been among white people, so-called white, Caucasian. We have been among so-called black, so-called Asian, so-called Indian, and so on. So because of the confusion that is happening, as there are now divine revelations of the different divine beings that are now living on this earth, or who have been born in this lifetime, to save the masses or to awaken the masses. And as we are doing this, we are being revealed to the masses. Now, all I want to tell the masses and people who are listening in is this. The avatar that we choose to come into this earth with to save humanity, to open their eyes, to help them to see the truth, to help them to resist the lawless ones, the adversaries who are already slated for destruction and who are confusing them and telling them there is no Christ or there is no Savior. You must be, be, you must be aware and beware and be careful and alert against those type of lies and deceptions and illusions the lawless ones the adversary is spreading throughout mother kai right now now like i said we can choose any vessel any avatar any culture as we did in the past to come and to help humanity and to save earth because we are on a mission to save mother kai mother earth and to save the throne of this earth that's the reason why we have come in many forms or as many different uh, tribal or cultural or continental beings or avatars. I have come as a white person, as an Indian person, as an Kemet or Egyptian person, etc. Now I'm an African. That's why they call Isis. That's why they call me the lady of 10,000 names because I have been in different cultures 
and I carry different names in different cultures. The same with you, who has been, although you are tripped, we all have been tripped in the false scam of, or the scam of the reincarnation and thrown into different life uh, um, cultures, people all over the world. And you also, as a soul, has reincarnated as a different person. You were a white person, for example, in a previous lifetime. Now you are black. Or you were black in the previous lifetime and now you are white. Mostly that's what hap happens with the masses here. Especially when you are a sheep and when you don't know who you are. But for those of us who are of the divine essence, we always reincarnate or we always get um, get birthed into a divine vessel or a vessel or a being that that holds that divine and royal divine bloodline or divine signature divine blueprint and that royal bloodline as the owners or as the original beings of this earth so when these beings tell you the so-called voice of God which I've already told you the false God that these beings on this earth has been serving when this false voice of God or the voice of the false God tell you there is no Christ there is no one to save you do not believe do not believe the lies because we may be sitting in an avatar of a human being, the same as anybody and everybody else here on this earth. But we have powers that are unmatched. We cannot be challenged. We have powers that can bring this world to an end in an instant. So understand this. The fact that you see us in an avatar just like you, as a human being, doesn't mean that we are like you. We are here to help you and to save you from destruction that is coming. And we have been doing it lifetime in and lifetime out. And every culture and every tribe or race that we have been in, we were rejected. Because people don't believe that saviors can reincarnate or saviors can come as human beings or in a human vessel. The unbelievable thing is that they believe in a Christ who came 2,000 years ago and left as a human being, but they do not believe in a Savior that lives on earth right now. So understand what I am telling you right now. Me being the Savior, the Isis of this world, and sitting as a woman should not derail you from the powers I have and the powers I hold and the powers that support me of the divine all. Because if you believe there is no Savior, no Christ, then they are recruiting you to their side so you can get lost and so you can be destroyed together with them. Imagine this all your lifetime since you got birthed into this earth, you believed in good and evil. You know there is a good side and a bad side to life activities that are evil and activities that are good and peaceful and kind because of that the spectrum of good and evil or negative and positive and you know in your hearts of hearts and in your mind as a rational logical being you know that when a certain situation arises in your life you know this is a negative thing or this is a result from an evil work or evil evil entity or a malicious event or harmful event that is happening to you now there is a source behind that harmful malicious and evil event the same thing when you go to the good side or the positive side when you experience something good something positive there is a source of that positive and good energy or event Therefore, as there is a good and an evil, there is a Christ, which is the good and the positive that has come to save the world. And as there is a negative and a harmful, malicious events and stuff happening to you, there is a devil, which now in terms of the Bible terms, 
There is a Satan and there is an Antichrist or the beast. Now you must not be deceived. Do not be deceived because now it is end times. If you have benefited from the energy or from the source that you have been calling upon all this time before you came to find out about me, for example, as Isis, or about any other divine being here dwelling on this earth, you see now our true evidence or our true vessel that we show ourselves to, or the nefarious ones who are recruiting you, they are showing us to you. And you have reaped benefits from calling on us in the different names through our different cultures you have been using. And you have benefited from that good energy. You have benefited from our positive energy or our divine essence. It is not wise for you to give up on it right now because you find out or because you see who the true source is of that energy that you have been benefiting from. And decide, now that I know who the true Savior is, who the Christ is, or who Isis is, or who uh, um, God is, for example, I am not going to save God. Better I will go over to the side of Satan, devil, or Antichrist, or the, uh, or the beast. You are making a grave mistake, I tell you this. Now, this is a warning that I'm giving to everybody, especially those who are still holding on to their faith in different cultures through different practices that they had. Because it is the heart and the actions of the heart that we will judge. If you have been a Christian, keep on calling on the name, the true and energy, the source of life. Because we know through our different lifetimes, these nefarious ones have merged our energies and our essence through cloning with their nefarious and lawless beings. Every lifetime, the same they have done this lifetime with me again to match our images, our true essence with their kind. And they call it Jesus Christ, for example the clone savior of the true savior that was in the past, in the age of Pisces. So you shouldn't give up on your faith, on the good works, and everything you are doing. I repeat, if you have benefited from my energy in the past, when you prayed to me, not knowing that I was dwelling or living with you on earth, you have benefited from that energy. Why stop now? Why stop doing something that has benefited you? Something that has made you a better person. Something that helped you through difficult situations and life's challenges. But it is a choice that we are giving you as I am giving you this message. You have the option or the choice whether you want to keep believing in the good, in the positive, in a savior, whether it is ISIS or Audrey Serelda Comderinosis, or somebody else. But you must make sure that you don't get deceived and don't start trusting in an Antichrist or Anti-Savior because the true devils, Satan, Antichrist, and the beast, they exist. It is an entity, it's a group of entities or groups of company, of beings here on this earth that are playing that role. And they have been playing it successfully. So understand this, keep serving or keep connecting with the energy that has yielded good results or good fruits for you in your life. Do not give up. We are in end times right now. And like I tell you, the nefarious ones, the lawless ones are slated for destruction. Their time is finished here on this earth and they will deceive and lie to people. Look at her. You think she can save you? Yes, they know. They know I can save you. They know my real powers. They cannot, they cannot, they do not have access. They do not have access to my real power. But they know from the previous experiences, when we are coming as divine beings, our powers, they know that. And they know that we have come to save humanity, the original beings, the earth, and the throne of this earth. So do not fall victim 
and give into the lies of these nefarious ones, the whispers they give you. Keep trusting and fight because there will come a time that you will call on the divine through different prayers and different avatars or names that, they, that we had in the past and even the names that they have merged with ours, with ours, and it will not help you. You learn to pray today already or you will be forced to pray in the future when the lawlessness and the evil or wickedness is unleashed on this earth without the presence of the divine beings here on earth because the time will come that we will leave this earth and then the whole earth will be given over to lawlessness, to evil, and then we will come back to judge, we will come back to clear up and we will come to destroy. We will destroy lawlessness and evil and to rebuild to restore Mother Kai, earth, her throne, her people. And those who will be saved will be saved. So you decide, you pray, you keep on praying, you keep on holding on to your faith, or you give up and you will still be forced to align back to that faith you had, or you will give in and then give over your avatar to the nefarious ones or your vessel to the nefarious end. Ultimately, you will be destroyed because you will not exist anymore because we will come and destroy them ultimately at the end. So you choose today whom you will serve, who, whom you will side with. You choose today whether you will continue in your faith, faith in the good, faith in kindness, in righteousness, in love, in goodness, faith in equality. Faith in the salvation that you are seeking because suffering is not the plan that we had for humanity. It's not the plan that we have for humanity and for earth. So if you experience, if you have experienced goodness through calling on Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter whether they use, we self-correct the divine, correct that energy because you, we know how they have connected us with the lawless beings and so on like i said so it is your faith that ultimately saves you at the end of the day when you connect with the divine so if you don't want to use names rather say the divine all or the divine powers of true creation of the foundation of earth and humanity i call upon you i trust in you and keep seeking the truth because the truth is also within you but you must com commit to the truth that you are seeking and you must connect with the divine forces of the universe. The you divine, divine, they are above these beings here on this earth and the infiltrating uh, extraterrestrial and interdimensional beings, the lawless ones, they, we are above them. So understand this. So if you give up, give up. But you will be forced into a situation that we, you will need a divine being in the future and you will not find a divine being anymore. So don't give up on your faith. Hold on praying. It doesn't matter whether you call the true Savior, Jesus, or Yahusha. I would encourage those who are calling the Hebrew name to call the tr uh, true Savior, Yahusha, not Yeshua, please do not call Yeshua because Yeshua, Shua means to cancel out. Cancel Yah. It's like Yeah is Yah and Shua means to cancel. So whenever you say Yeshua, you are saying cancel Yah. So if you believe in the true Most Highs, at least use names that are in alignment with their divine essence because you cannot cancel us. You cannot cancel Yahuwah. You cannot cancel Christ. Do you understand? Research more and call the eternal one, the most high, Yahuwah. Yahuwah. That uh, uh, tectored grammaton, it is Yahuwah, not Yahweh, not Yahushua. It is Yahuwah. And it, because Yahuwah is, Yah gives life. Yahuwah is life. That's what Yahuwah means. The eternal one, the most high, is life. And Yahusha means the salvation of the most high or the salvation of Yah. That's the correct expression of our essence. 
do not show us, do not Yahweh us. We are not Yahweh. So I hope you understand. But if you don't want to use the names, use divine all of all creation. And also make time to really get rid and close doors to all false gods that we have. I had to do it myself, even as a divine being in this flesh, in this avatar. I had to do start closing doors to false gods or false images and false deities that have set themselves up against the knowledge of my true divine essence or divine print because I reached out to a being which I did not know who they were in the past lifetime. These beings just put in their books so you don't know which of the deities that are in the books are true or false. Therefore, release the false ones, detach from them and close doors to them. And that's when you start looking for the real, the true divine essence of creation. So I hope this will help you and encourage you to hold on to your good, to hold on to the positive, and to not deny the source that you have been benefiting from. Do not deny the source that you have been benefiting from all your life. Because the temptation and the lies of the enemy of the lawless ones are tempting many right now to give up on their faith. Do not look at the avatars or the vessels that we are using in this lifetime for granted. Don't look at the vessel and say, this cannot be a savior or this cannot be a god because you are making a mistake. Do not take the divine on this earth right now for granted because this is the last time as followers or as seeds of lawlessness that you will have a divine being, protection and guidance of a divine being. This is the last season or the last lifetime or age, especially lifetime, not an age, that you will have us still warning you and guiding you and so forth. Now that we are being revealed to you, because the same way we are exposing the works of the lawless ones, the imposter rulers here on earth, so also the divine beings here on earth are being revealed. And with the revealing, they have infiltrated us in our ignorance during our sleeping time. They have infiltrated us through their alien technology and the rockopacillus thing that I was talking about, entity that I was talking about. So when they reveal us to people, they reveal us in situations that they have driven us or persecuted us into. So you will not really see a divine righteous being that is still on their mission there in the celebrity dome or in riches or self-sufficient and living in riches and wealth here on this earth right now. Because these beings have made sure that they persecute us, do things to us, so that when the time of reveal comes, that they reveal us as suffering uh, uh, beings who are going through pain, who have sicknesses, for example, certain conditions, because there are divine beings that have that are suffering of asthma, for example, that are suffering of high blood pressure. Now you are asking yourself as a fool among or in the masses or ignorant beings, how is it possible that a divine being has a sickness and they cannot heal themselves? And that's because they put all these plans in place because they knew the time of revelation or the time of reveal will come and they will have to disclose to the public or to beings, sentient beings here on earth, who the true divine beings are. So you will truly not find a divine being here on earth that is living a luxurious life, that is that has all things together and everything is going well for them. Many of them sold out the divine beings who came with us. They sided now with the lawless ones because they don't want to go through the suffering and pain and test or being uh, having people go against them. They have fallen away from their mission. But guess what? For the ones that have fallen away, we have a whole lot waiting 
to come through for me and for all the divine beings that are still in their righteous paths and destinies or missions. So you must understand that uh, uh, masses or ignorant ones. The revelation also comes from our side. We have to reveal ourselves as well in order to align with our mission or our oath and promise of our divine covenant. So even when they do not reveal us to the masses or, or disclose our truths and our existence or presence here on this earth, we have to do it. In that way, we are aligning with our highest truth or our mission. So whether the reveal comes from our side or from their side, you must understand, you must seek your higher self, your truth, to really know whether the person or the being or the avatar you are, they are revealing to you, is it a true divine being or not? Like I said, don't be deceived by the physical body. Because the nefarious ones have planned these things thousands and years before, but we have planned it because we know, we see thousands of years in advance. So like we said, they are not going to win. And in terms of especially beings that are here, the divine beings that feel they are on their own, do not feel that you are alone. We are surrounded by multitude of divine beings that are ready to help us out at the command of the chief commander of the heavenly host or the host of our mission. So understand, masses, that we are here to help you, whether you believe in us or not, whether you acknowledge us or not. This lifetime, the nefarious ones, the lawless ones, are not going to get, are not going to get the planet or the throne of this earth again. And time is running out. Time is running out. You have it within you to make it at the end of the day. But if you do not listen now, heed our warnings and instructions and guidance, more difficult times are coming. Challenging times are coming, which will make it very difficult for you to really fight for yourself. You can still fight for yourself while we are still here and while the divine beings, your angels, that have been put in position in place to guide you and to help you are still available. You must make use of your angels that are around you all the time. Your guardian angels, your ascended masters, your ascended ancestors, etc. Your divine powers. Because I'm telling you, time is running out. Time is running out. Time is running out.